Recent shootings in Starkville are raising concerns among residents. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. Those concerns are prompting one local organization to spring into action. Tonight, the Octavaha County chapter of the NAACP met with residents to talk about ways to stop the violence. Our Quentin Smith, he was at that meeting tonight. Quentin, what are those folks saying about the recent crime? Well, Scott, they're calling the shooting senseless and say they could have been avoided. Tonight, residents expressed that creating more programs for the youth and developing relationships with police are just a few ways to combat this recent spike in crime. You cut the news on. It's violent. It's violent. Willie Earl Thomas says he's sick and tired of hearing about shootings happening in Starkville. A gunfire erupted outside. It happened at the Chandler Park apartments yesterday. A shooting in Starkville is under investigation. In the past three months, WCBI has reported on a total of four shootings in Starkville. It hurts me because uh, that's somebody's child. That's somebody's child. And when it would be a fatality, it's too late. To say I could have helped that child. Police say guns are easily accessible to the youth, and they believe that plays a key role in these shootings. Because of the amount of guns that uh, are being stolen, that that we uh, are seeing uh, on the street, um, amount of guns that uh, uh, we are recovering on a daily basis, the amount of guns that are, we are. Uh, uh, running checks on when we stop vehicles. Residents say the recent crime spike is alarming. That's why they came out to find a solution to this problem and find ways to keep the youth on the right track. And they see things happening around them. There's no one showing them love. And to me, really, and to be honest, they are crying out for help. To answer that call of help, the Octibaha County chapter of the NAACP is partnering with organizations in the community to come up with a plan and ideas to combat this issue. One of the things we're looking at doing, we have uh, two DARE officers, and their main job is to go out in the community and to build trust. Uh, uh, with the community and, and to interact with these kids. We need to be more programs for them because they have talent, they have, and let them exercise their talent, their gift, and, and have someone to just make them feel, 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 make them feel wanted, be part of organization. Now the NAACP says it will continue to discuss ways to combat this problem during each of its monthly meetings. Scott?